Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time though using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple and the latest uh, Minitab tutorial and what we're going to take a look at is a two sample hypothesis test something that I would definitely call a t-test now before we go to Minitab I just want to set the scene because this is really important if if we're doing this in a in a Six Sigma environment it's slightly different if you're doing this scientifically you've done a scientific test or something like that but typically we're doing Six Sigma when am I going to use a hypothesis test I'm going to use a hypothesis test when I've made a deliberate process change. A deliberate process change. And you don't want to be using this for any other reason, really. Um, in other words, in this case, look, some engineer has decided that maybe a low temperature might produce a different result to a high temperature. And the reason why we're, we're using the, the t-test, of course, is because here are the two samples. Here's the sample set from the high temperature. Here's the sample set from the low temperature. And there's two possibilities. Are we looking at noise? In other words, just two samples, but it's from one big distribution. Now, it is possible that that's the case. There is an awful lot of overlap here. You can see, look, lots of the data here overlaps in the middle. So it could be that these are just two samples from the same distribution. And therefore, any difference that we're seeing in the mean here is just luck. It's just noise. But of course, there's also the chance that it isn't luck. Maybe what we've done by changing the temperature we've created two separate means, 4.6 and 5.8, and we've created a genuine shift in the process. And of course here, what have we done? We've made a deliberate, a deliberate process change. And then the t-test is going to tell us whether the difference that we see is signal or look just noise and that's what the t-test does of course the p-value what do we want the p-value to be that comes out of the test we want it to be low because that is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude that the process has been shifted by your change so the p-value is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude if you conclude that the process has shifted so we're going to do a t-test we've made a deliberate process change and we're trying to see if what we're looking at is signal or noise so let's go to mini tab and let's look at this date these data sets in a mini tab table and let's do a t-test so here is the data. Here's the data look from the low temperature. Here is the data from the high temperature. So both our data sets are in separate columns. Then very simply, up to stat, basic statistics. And in the basic statistics menu, we have the two sample T. There it is, the two sample T. Determine whether the mean differs significantly between the two samples. Click OK to that. Then it's got a little drop-down menu. It says, well, are the both samples in one column, which is something Minitab wants normally. But it also gives you the option to say, each sample is in its own column. And now I just need to tell it, sample set one, Sample set two. 
Let's have a quick look at the options. It says that I can assume equal variances. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to assume that the variances is different, and it will put that. Um, it'll put that into the calculation. It then says, "What's the alternative hypothesis?" Um, so you can go greater than, you can go less than, or you can go just not equals to. Now, not equals to is recognised as the best test. It's recognized as the strongest test. So that's the one I'm going to do. I'm not going to set up any pictures or graphs for this. I just want a p-value. And I'm going to collect, connect. OK. Let's take a look at this now. If we scroll down, it says, what's the p-value? 0.036. Now that is going to beat my alpha value, my alpha value that I'd like to beat. I'd like to be below 05. Let's just go back to the data set and the original hypothesis test. So here we are, the original hypothesis test, the alpha value. I wanted to beat 05. This is your chance of making a mistake if you conclude the new temperature makes a difference. Our p-value generated by Minitab was 036. It is below our alpha value and therefore we conclude the alternative hypothesis. Our temperature, our new temperature made a significant difference to the result. Now, of course, one thing to take into account, folks, is also, is this a practical difference? Because all this is doing is saying the maths can see two different groups of data. It doesn't mean that this 1.2 shift, whatever this happens to be, let's say this is the hardness of the material, it doesn't mean that a shift of 1.2 is any use to you. So you have to get mathematical significance, which, which is what this number is. You also have to get practical significance. And that's a different judgment. That's, that's you judging whether a 1.2 shift is useful to you. So that is the t-test, the two sample t-test produced by Minitab. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all, or indeed Lean, please drop me a message either in the comments below. Please subscribe also. Um, but you can also leave me an email. If you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice, I'm more than happy to help you out. And of course, if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem, please drop me a line. I hope to hear from you soon.